What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Guys, today I want to talk about Dream Doll. Now, Dream Doll is a female rapper from the Bronx. And I don't know. I don't know how good of a rapper she is. You brothers comment below if you feel like she is a great artist. I'm not sure. Um, I think she's fairly attractive, but I mean, who knows if it's natural? You know how that is. But anyways, seems like a nice young lady. And recently she was on the Shade Room's original series, Keeping It 100, where, you know, they go out and they interview these ladies and things like that. She talked about the dating world, okay? And, uh, you know, she was uh, with the TSR host, Timmy, and and things like that. And um, she likes to keep her relationships private. And she says this, I don't want to be attached to nobody. I've been there, done that. I really like a private life. Even if we go on a restaurant, there's probably a third person there. Or if we go on a date, there's probably a third person there. You might be the homie, you might be my friend, or whatever. Okay, and you don't know who she's in a situationship with. Now, let me just say this. I want to play a video from a good buddy of mine, Alda Brian. Um, for those of you who may have seen the last episode of the um, Pan African Dating Show, you would have seen Alda Brian. Alda Brian and me also have done some short films together on Strugglewood. But Alda Brian asks a question about women who never show their men. Okay. Um, on date. Let's play that clip. Ladies, this one is for you. Hmm? I always want to ask, whenever you go for your trips, your holidays, eh, your vacations, hmm? why don't you ever want to post call your sponsor? Hmm? What harm does it bring when you post call your sponsor? Hmm? Unless he doesn't want to be posted, that one is understandable. Get some time off and post call your sponsor. It is a sign of appreciation eh? the, the, the sponsor by the way will get motivated to continue taking you out hmm? it's a sign of appreciation just get some time you guys go out you only you, you only want to post yourselves you, you you're even eating food you only want to post yourself with the food you don't want to post the sponsor hmm? let us know that the sponsor is there let the sponsor at least feel appreciated hmm? single you post call something okay to show that the sponsor was there at least go you post his shoelaces or what shoe. What the fuck? Hmm? But you guys completely crop out the sponsor. It's like he never existed at all. You know how painful it is? Hmm? At least post go, post at least post his shadow. Okay, what you post his fuck? shadow. So what we know, he knows by me that he was also there on the trip. So this is something that many of you guys have experienced. You've paid for a meal, you've paid for a trip. The woman will post everything about the trip. She'll post, you know, the hotel, the food, even the waiter, the waitress, the ambiance. But you won't get posted in the trip, right? And I've gotten used to this now. It doesn't even bother me. But what's the real reason why these women do that? There are a few reasons. I've asked a few ladies that in, in Africa that don't post their guys. And they said the reason why they do it, um, it is because so many women try to take their uh, significant others. So their own friends, you know, things like that. That's what I've heard. I don't know how true it is, but that is what they've told me. But I think that it's something else. I believe that a lot of women, okay, have other opportunities and they're afraid that if they show these opportunities, they're gonna leave, all right? That's really what I believe. A lot of women don't want to be tied down to a guy because they think like guys. 
They want the ability to be able to keep their options open. And one of the things that really shuts down the ability of women to do stuff is being tied down to a guy. And I think a lot of times women are kind of ashamed of the guys that they're dealing with. I mean, think about it. Any woman who really is proud to be with you, she gonna want to post you. That's just me. She's going to want to post you. If she's not happy with you, she's not going to post you. And women will post the guys that they feel excited about. Now, she might love having sex with you. That might be true. But what does that got to do with her wanting to post you? And a lot of guys are kind of upset about it. Like, let me just say this. You know, I, I've been that guy before. I'm, I'm going to be real. Taking girls out to trips and stuff like that. Girls, you know, saying they love you. And then, you know what? I'm going to just have it to me. Uh, this one time. I was dealing with this one lady. I really cared about her. You know me. I had tricked it off. I had got her iPhone and everything like that. That lady would never post me, but I will used to wear her ass out like it was crazy right but i found out like because right after me she got pregnant by the other guy that girl was posting him all the time and you know what she told me she was like you know you know i'd have a hard time bringing you to my family because of the age difference so aha uh -huh, i'm too old and that's when i really fear lot realized i was old at that time like dating somebody that much younger i wasn't i was like in my 30s but like this person looked at me like i'm old as shit okay now at that point i started to really understand it for what it was i was somebody she didn't mind smashing and doing all the other stuff but but just like showing me off in public it was hell to the no which i wasn't really trying to show her off in public either but then at the same time how long are you gonna do that every dude you deal with you don't want nobody to know okay i mean that's cool but then here's what's gonna happen once that guy gets, and y'all know what's coming, because it's me. Once that dude gets with a non-black woman, and you know you guys know where I'm going with this, what is going to happen? When that woman starts paying him some attention, y'all are going to be mad. All of a sudden now, they're going out on trips. Because, see, that's what's one thing I noticed when it, with, 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 with black women. They, they tend not, and listen, they tend not to want to show who the dude is. Some of them be even married, guys. Like, you don't even show your husband. Like, honestly, because you're, you're afraid that you're going to miss out on other money from men. I swear to God. I swear to God. Swear to God. Then once he get with the white woman, oh, now they're mad. How dare you have a white woman here or an Asian woman? But you do what the hell you want to do. As long as you leave me alone, y'all know my how I feel about it. I don't give a damn. I don't. Leave me alone so I can be rich. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again. Another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out.